This is a story you may have not heard before. The story of smallpox. This dreaded disease killed millions of people every year. Not for decades, not for centuries, but for millennia. There was no place on earth that was safe from smallpox. Smallpox may have emerged 3,000 years ago, causing centuries of suffering, misery and death on a global scale. The reason you may have not heard this story is that a heroic global effort finally put an end to smallpox in 1979. People were scared of smallpox. They were scared of death. No one dared to step inside a house that had been struck by smallpox. Not even doctors wanted to go to these houses. The conquest of this disease required an unprecedented effort. The world had never seen a public health campaign on such a massive scale, both in terms of the army of health warriors deployed and the territory covered. Whenever a case was detected, health workers would fan out into the area. They went door to door looking for cases and created a protective ring through vaccination to break the transmission cycle. But in this war against disease, as in all wars, someone had to be the last victim. This is the story of Rahim Abano, the last person in Asia to be stricken by smallpox. I remember she was one and a half years old. I felt fearful. My mother-in-law and brother-in-law had been struck by the disease, but it was mild. Rahima's was a severe case, and I was scared that she would not live through it. But God played his role up there, and down here, we tried fervently. Health workers from many nations embarked on the last onslaught against smallpox, which had finally been cornered in a few remaining pockets. It was a massive campaign, conducted by hundreds of thousands of health workers. By the 1970s, immunization had proved itself to be the most cost-effective public health intervention ever. Armed with vaccines, health workers tirelessly rooted out smallpox, wherever it was hiding, scoring every tiny and distant village. I was one and a half years old when I was struck by smallpox. When I grew up, I heard that smallpox had been eradicated and Rahima Begum was the last case. Rahima lived in one of those villages, as they had been doing for centuries. People wondered who would be next. As it turned out, this little girl was the last smallpox victim in Asia. 30 years later, this victory continues to inspire public health campaigns. What was done once with smallpox can be done again with other diseases. Thousands of babies are born every day and need to be protected against disease. Yet millions of children remain unimmunized. Eliminating disease and preventing their resurgence is an ongoing battle. Battles like the one against smallpox are waged not only for ourselves, but for our children and coming generations. Celebrating 30 years of freedom from smallpox. Saluting the World Health Warriors.